Soil is one of the world's most important natural resources. Soil, air, and water are the foundation of life on planet Earth. Soil consists of four main components. Air, water, minerals, and organic matter, which is living and dead organisms. The minerals and organic matter make up the solid parts of soil. Air and water are in the soil pore spaces, or the gaps, among solid soil components. A typical soil will be 50% pore space, 45% to 50% minerals, and 0 to 5% organic matter. Variations of these components give soil its physical, chemical, and biological properties. Five soil forming factors shape the development of soil. These factors are the reason soil differs from top to the bottom of a hill or why soil found on a beach has different characteristics from the soil found in a wetland or farm field. Soil formation begins with weathering which is the physical, chemical, and biological process of, that creates soil. The rate of weathering is determined by five factors. Climate, which is weather conditions including both temperature and rainfall. Organisms, which are microorganisms that break down organic matter. Topography, which is the environment where the rocks and soil sit on the landscape. Parent material, which is the substances such as bedrock, sediment, or organic matter that are weathered to form soil. And time, which is the length of time during which soil is formed, impacting soil composition. As soil develop, layers begin to form. A horizon is a layer of soil distinguished by properties of characteristics developed through the five factors of soil formation. Soil horizons have crucial implications for plant growth. The fertile uppermost, upper outermost layer of soil is called the topsoil, surface horizon, or A horizon. This layer is the most important for plant growth. Below the surface horizon is the B horizon, or sublayer, which contains much of the original parent material that has been weathered. The final horizon is the C horizon, the subsoil layer that contains much of the organic much of the original parent material that has not been weathered. The factors that affect soil formation also influence physical properties such as soil texture, structure, and color, as well as, as its biological properties and chemical properties such as pH. Soil texture refers to the proportion of different sizes of mineral particles present in a soil. Soil texture is the most important physical property to consider when managing soils for cultivation. The three soil particles are sand, silt, and clay. Clay has the smallest particle size, but it has a physical structure that makes it sticky. Sand has the largest soil particles at 2 mm to 0 0.05 mm followed by silt at 0.05 millimeters to 0.002 millimeters, and then clay at, at less than 0.002 millimeters. Most soils are combinations of these particles. The particles of various sizes and their proportions have different physical characteristics that significantly influence plant growth potential. These characteristics include Water holding capacity, which is how much water the soil can hold at any given time so it will be, be available for uptake by plants. Aeration, or aeration, the process by which air is circulated in this case to provide oxygen for the root respiration. Drainage rate, which is the rate at which water passes through the soil. Compaction potential, which is how easily the soil compacts or compresses. Erosion potential, which is how easily topsoil is lost through erosion or tillage after rainfall. And nutrient retention, retention, which is the ability to store plant nutrients and resist pH changes. Determining soil texture. So texture by feel is called a soil ribbon. And you can see in this picture right here, um, they're kind of putting their thumb and index finger together and creating friction and trying to kind of squeeze out um, like you do with Play-Doh or modeling clay. 
And you can see the longer the ribbon, um, the more clay it has in it. So this is pure clay right here, um, a clay loam, a loam, a sandy loam, and a loamy sand. So the more sand that's in that soil, the, the smaller the ribbon's going to be versus the amount of clay that's in that, that soil, the longer the ribbon is going to be.